You haven't seen the lot this empty in quite a while. Well, so I can listen to some tunes and not get a uh, copyright strike. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off for now. But he doesn't pass his inspection. Continue on the road. Continue on the road. I think I'll do that. Haven't been able to sprout wings yet. Chris usually doesn't let others know what he's going through and he internalizes a lot. But he wants any of the rest of our community who's going through any adversity to know that you are not alone. Fortunately, Shelly slept through it, but I know I must have upset Grizz while I was whimpering in my sleep. Well, it's Tuesday, November 5th, and what am I doing? Well, it's voting day, but I've already voted. I'm headed into Phoenix to uh, see my urologist. And he's my cancer doc, too. Dr. K's been a wonderful guy Turn for me. On South Meridian Road, then take the first left. Shelly wasn't feeling real good, so she and Grizz are staying home. Well, I to go take care of business. South Meridian Road. And I should be back in a few hours, two or three hours. And then Shelly and I will sit around for entertainment and we'll watch all the polls. See how everybody's handling the uh, the election, so to say. Whatever happens, it's out of our hands. In one half mile, turn left on US 60 West. We've made our vote and we'll leave our faith in a higher power. Well, so I can listen to some tunes and not get a uh, copyright strike. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the camera off for now, unless something interesting comes up, and turn the volume up on our tunes on Spotify. Talk to you later. Well, we're about halfway. 20, 25 minutes. We're going under the stack. The lesser stack in this area. And heading into Phoenix. Passing through Tempe right now. Lately it's been fun going to his office. Not like it was after the diagnosis. And before that, we used to joke and laugh all the time. We've both taken on a much more serious tone. I'm hoping it gets lighter. We'll see. seen a lot this empty in quite a while. I'll park a little further out just to try and avoid some door dings. We made it. Let's go in and see what the doc's got to say. You know, it feels kind of strange not having Shelly and Grizz here. We'll see. I am currently leaving Dr. K's office. And headed back to see Shelly and Grizz. He always gives me hope.
This time he set us up for more testing. Another PET scan. He's really happy with the results. But he wants to be sure that nothing else lights up inside. I'm so looking forward to that. Talk to you again in a minute. Okay, I don't know if it's this way where you are or where you live, but it seems like they're always working on the freeways out here. And they never do it on the times when there's less people here. It's always during rush hour traffic. It gets so hard to navigate because it's hard for your GPS to catch up. We're, uh, we're winding our way through it. Well, I'm with you winding our way through it to get back on uh, US 60 or Arizona State Route 60 so we can uh, head back to the RV. This is a royal pain in the arse. Usually you got about 10 seconds warning. Turn here. Okay, we'll see if I navigate it. There's a couple more ways to do it if I mess up. Three white lanes, then take the exit toward US 60. Okay, coming up. Let's see if they've messed it up again. See if I can give myself an out. Just in case. The lines are matching up. Even the map is. Oh my goodness. Aha! Looks like we're going to do it. Holy cow! Come on, dude, don't linger there. Just get by him. It's belching out blue smoke. Come on, folks. That thing needs a valve job. You finally decide to get over. Oh, my goodness. But he doesn't pass his inspection. Continue on the road. Continue on the road. I think I'll do that. Haven't been able to sprout wings yet. Today... We both are out to have our first visit with a new provider. We really do like him, and he seems to be on top of his game. You see, our previous specialist has retired, and it's taken a long while to find a new one who we like and trust. I'm just getting ready to head over and pick up some meds from the doctors that we saw yesterday. A little context. Yesterday was a good day. Um, it's a doctor's visit. A new doctor. And we really like him. It took us about a year to get in to see him. He's our gastroenterologist. Uh, <laughs> laugh every time I say that. Kind of Makes me think of a pub of some kind. I'm going to the latest gastro, get something to eat. But I mean, he's really nice, very knowledgeable, great bedside manner, and uh, ready to try and willing to try new things, especially for Shelly to help her with some of her issues. The day before was my cancer doc, Dr. K. Um, he's my urologist. Definitely giving us more hope. Um, very pleased with the results that we're getting and we've asked on the long-term outlook on what we can do he wants to do some more testing we'll be getting another PET scan here shortly and next month he'll interpret it for us and tell us what he thinks he's pretty sure that for at least the next two years I'll be on this expensive uh, Erlata but we're gonna do what we have to so, more of a plus, at 
Last night was strange. The dreams. Vivid, powerful, so real. My mom and dad, my grandparents, my sister and I. Long, long time ago, in places long since we haven't been. But happy dreams and sad. I know it's the hormonal meds just messing with me. That's my conscious mind does. Fortunately, Shelly slept through it, but I know I must have upset Grizz while I was whimpering in my sleep, calling out to those that I've lost. I woke early crying, <laughs> with Grizz giving me kisses, in his own way, trying to console me, and then realizing I'd had a small nosebleed. The meds. Emotions are so powerful. I think I wept for about an hour, during and after, getting ready for the day. Sweet little Grizz, he wouldn't leave my side all morning. I'm fine now, and hopefully I won't have any more of this in the near future. It's all a part of trying to hang on to life. Thank you guys for being here and helping us through all of this. Thank you for spending this Sunday with us. We always love seeing you right here on OLT.